At the end of the day, RP Duke the Jeweler, because we all know for a fact, we all know, rule number one, that Lil Dirt pulled up with Tootie Raw, man. Everybody know for a fact that Lil Dirt been trying to sign Tootie Raw for the longest. I just want to let y'all know one thing. The only reason why Boosie responded to Lil Dirt is because Charleston White basically put Lil Dirt on a like back burner. Like at the end of the day, we already know for a fact. This is a revolving door, y'all. Y'all need to open y'all eyes to the fact of what's really going on. T.I. only pulled up, up with Tootie Raw and had Tootie Raw set up Duke the Jeweler. Listen to what the eyewitness said, y'all. You know, one of the things with Boosie is, is a lot of the stuff that he puts in his music is things that he continues to show in his actual, you know, day-to-day -day life and, and everything else. Like, Boosie continues to stay saying that you can't trust anybody you can't trust your friends you can't trust your family you can't trust your wife you know he goes on to to uh quote along the lines that you know at the at one point the prosecutors want to help him and he's got his bait his bm on the stand raising her hand you know what i mean he said everyone ain't your friend everyone ain't your partner and you know that says a lot like at some point you would think that you can trust someone uh if you can't trust anybody i think that sounds like that's more of like a personal issue you know we all know that uh duke had put trust into boosie and having him go down there duke went down there he was doing his thing he was trying to you know continue to make a name for himself and he got caught up out there and you know boosie himself said he heard it in the next lot like boosie was over getting his car getting they were getting out of there getting whatever whatever and like they stayed heard it they heard it happen you know like then they they didn't come over obviously because they can't if they seen on site then that's that's an issue because that looks even more suspicious than it already does right and so then you have this situation where you you know duke sent up and everyone else that was going on saw what was going on like he had all eyes on him everywhere he went in that game he wasn't hard to he was not hard to miss with all the that jewelry he had on and unfortunately that made it a target for himself or for him you know as I turn around, as the heat proceeds to go outside, I rush him back inside. I, 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 I hit him with the mace. Hit him with the mace. Another young I hit him with the mace. Hit him with the mace. So I rush him back in. Uh, 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 the mace hitting him. But as the mace hitting him, it's splatting out into the restaurant. So it hitting other people. That's why I tell them, little boy, the young he shake off the mate. He, I'm talking about he dripping like soldier boy. He shake it off. His people know that T.I. Nim instantly wanted to go out there and fly to Houston real quick. But you know for a fact that Charleston White already banned T.I. and Boosie from Houston. After Boosie had that situation with Duke the Jeweler and Duke the Jeweler jewelry case came up missing and they end up finding Boosie fingerprints on Duke the Jeweler chain. Y'all really gotta pay attention to this, man. This is something that Charleston White said was gonna happen. And he came out and already said that Boosie had something to do with it. I sat there and told y'all, man. I sat there and told y'all, man. You really gotta open your eyes, man. Pay attention to what's going on, man. This is a revolving door, man. Look at what he said. I said, man, I really don't wanna fight it. Then I went to backpedaling. He, uh, and he charged me. He did the soldier boy. He turned right back around and proceeded to get some help. <laughs> I done ran to my car now. He damn near ate the whole can. You can't be tough too long. You got a, you got two minutes to be tough with this. It's a countdown with your toughness when I hit you with this. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. He all listen, it was one point in time, he almost had me in arm's reach and I put a move on him. <laughs> I put a move on him. He think he for the fight. Yeah, he tell me you better be quiet and quit talking. You was just me. Now I got to be quiet. And since I ain't gonna be quiet, you 
Well, what's up? I jump up hollering, what's up? Let's go outside. Well, once I see, when I say I don't go outside, let me tell you. Charleston White instantly putting his neck out there. Instantly. He driving wherever he want to go with no security. Like I always told y'all, y'all got to have security on y'all. But at the end of the day, we know for a fact that Charleston White, he looking at the fact one thing. Why would he make the song about him? And he real life ain't taking this too lightly. Listen to what he just said. This how you know he ain't dangerous. When I stood up and said, let's go outside, he was supposed to have been fine. Huh, 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 huh. Cause that's what that's what happened. So I say let's go outside. This little young, he wanna follow me outside. He let me go outside first. Big, big, big mistake, young fella. And they ain't mm -hmm. like you know, they to respond back. They not trying nah, to like nah, sit they, there even clear it up or try to. Yeah, they trying to they trying to take up for him. Like, bro, I seen bro everybody that was like in his videos and then I was in this man's house. I see he treat everybody like do boys, man. Like, um, and these cats gonna do whatever Boosie tell them to do. You feel me? Yeah, I can believe that. I, I but yeah, and you from yeah, Charlotte. I, I'm from Carolina. I'm from uh, near Raleigh, bro. Okay, okay. Carolina, man. Hey, shout out Carolina, man. I want y'all to know that this is something that could have easily been avoided because why, why, why couldn't just keep it a hundred? You feel me? Just keep yeah, it a hundred. Go, 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 go back inside. Yeah, I lower my guard because I'm dealing with these cats, man. I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Yo, you know, I'm thinking everything okay. I just dropped nine bands with the man. I'm thinking we finna further handle business, you know what I mean? I didn't fully do my research. I just made a track, and one of my partners was like, yo, I hear Boosty on that track, not knowing that I had a little reach. So I, I went through with it, not doing, a, not do, fully doing my research, you know what I mean? I'm just basically trying to open ass for the, the little cats up under me, you know what I mean, and inspire them. So I was like, bump it, I went on, I went through with it. And, and bro, I got hit bad, bro. On October 10th, bro. They, they cats hit me bad, boy. Jeez, that's, that's crazy. That's so yeah. Crazy. Hey, I'm still here. I'm still here, though. They could have smoked this for real. The way my studio is, it was me, my little brother, one of my partners, man. It was uh, Boosie cousin named Doughboy, Boosie nephew, and another cat that they uh, that so called do music with that um, Doughboy go with the little dude mom or whatever these cats pull up on me they act like we was uh we had already kicked it before then but they act like we was about to uh talk about the video because boosie was trying to overcharge me for the video for the video and Ooh. and uh these cats he had like he had like he was coming to talk to me about the video call boosie and everything i don't know if he gave him the okay then but but they hit me yeah, see, and that's it's sad, man. I hope I hope you got all that back double. You yeah. feel me? Because it's on the way. It's on the way. For real, because at the end of the day, man, you gotta watch these cats out here. Cause a lot of people go out there and be like, you know what? They can take my they can really put them on and hold time. They just looking at y'all like y'all staying. Sweet lit. Hey, cause see, yeah. all right, all the cats around them broke. They do boys, man. He keep them. He keep them in that position so he can use them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't put a price on your life, though. I mean, it's great that you're here. Still. Nah, that's, that's why I gave it up. That's why. I, that's why I gave it up. I want. I wasn't gonna put up no fight. You know what I mean? Cause that stuff, like, that won't even all of what they got. If he would have been, if he would have played the move, he could have really hit me. But they got me good, bro. They still got me good. See, and then yeah. what they what they saying? They saying. Boosie whole click iced out now. Man, if they ain't got no money, I know Boosie ain't bought all no eight. Man, these cats and broke. Gaddies. These cats For broke, man. These yeah. cats broke. And I mean everything, everything's showing, even with the videos where he behind my man whistling and doing all these snake activities, man. He ain't doing nothing but letting these cats know, man. For him mm -hmm. not to know these all these brothers in the room that's got money and that's gambling, why he right up on this man, right behind this man, shoulder whistling for, bro? Exactly. What is what is your what what was his whole motive for even being right there, so close to him and not gambling? Uh, why would you? you do a but you don't know this gambling? man. You just meeting this man. Why you all up in his personal space like that? You ain't got no money in your hand. You ain't waiting on dice or nothing. You know what I mean? These cats putting each other on, man. 
me out. And Boosie trying to put his son on before See, he puts the people around him on. Yeah, I mean, boy. Hey, look, man, I, I was, I've was, been waiting for this joint to come out. And it's crazy, it seemed like ever since that joint happened to me, he been caught up with stuff every time I turn around, boy. That's his stuff coming That's out, karma. boy. That's karma. Yeah. And, and this it's it's coming. You see it. You see it happening right in front of your face. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I we I wonder like who else who else got hit by them cats, bro. You feel me? Cause I couldn't. I whole time was like, dang, I couldn't be the only one. You feel me? Mhm. Mm These cats came from way to Atlanta to Car way from Atlanta to Carolina to hit me, bro. See? You know they was broke. You know they was broke. Exactly, because they had drive all the way down. Before they even went down there, they already knew it's that they was going to hit it. Yeah. They instantly said, you know what? He got this nine hey. bands. We that's six hours. Bands. We need that. Six hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he but said, that's a long way to ride. That's a long way to ride just to rob somebody. Yeah. yeah and then what if it would have been somebody else and they would have called the people on them before they even got about the complex or whatever. Yeah. Oh, they had that. Oh, they had their stuff together. That ain't their first time doing it, bro. When they left out my studio, they took all our phones. They slashed a tie. They weren't their first time doing that joint. Only reason why I left my stuff in the house. I look, like, bro, I leave my stuff in the house only because of the people I'm dealing with. I'm thinking it's straight money move. I'm thinking we finna network. You feel me? Yeah. See, that's how they that's how they get you comfortable. They think it because you oh they using boo name. That's how they get you comfortable. See? Yeah. And a lot of people, man, hit that like button, y'all. If y'all listening to Slim, man, hey, subscribe to Slim Channel too, man. On everything I love, on for them, I want y'all to really pay attention to this, man. Because they yeah, I got the five features. Hey, this is my first time really even speaking about that joint. A couple, only a couple people in the hood know. Uh, uh, his folks know because I done hit them up right after it happened, man. I've been hitting these cats up since last year. Um, like, bro, a lot of cats don't even know about this situation, man. And, and Boosie know who I am personally. His folks know who I am. And and, and, and they know what happened, too. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. so that's something that we all can take into, man, because they, it's like it was strategically done. It's like y'all knew y'all was gonna try to hit me, and y'all yeah, they knew they was gonna rob me. Now, now when I when I look back every at everything and even listen to the conversations, like replay the conversations in my mind, bro, they was set me up the whole time, and I ain't even get it. See, See? yeah, that's crazy. Yo, yo, intuition ain't gonna lie, boy. Bro, I've been in this business. I've been in the business I've been in since I was 13 years old. Never been robbed. I go, I go get, I go uh, mess with a famous, so-called famous cats and get robbed. You think it'd be legit too, like especially where you know everyone knows who he is. That's so, that's that's terrible. And you yeah. coming with the uh, red. I grew up in the struggle. Everybody around me is 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 struggling. You feel me? These cats ain't robbed. These cats still ain't trying to push up and rob me or nothing because why? I'm gonna take care. I look out for him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't that person. I was not expecting that. I'm thinking this was great to be another a business move that's finna take my my camp and my team to another level. Not on the strength of Boosie, but just yeah. to inspire them, just to inspire them so they can go even harder on their music. Again, you feel me? Yeah. So this something, and I, I salute you for that, Slim. Like real talk, because. People need to hear that. People need to hear your part, man. Yeah, and I people, invest in the people that's around me, man. Watch, I'm about to walk out to the back to my studio to show you where they robbed me at. Damn, can I turn my camera around? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Even if you can't turn it around. Oh, you'll still be able to turn it. Yeah, because you you just turn the whole face of the camera around. But look, can you see this? This is yeah. my yard right here. So think about it. I'm secluded, bro. You already <laughs> have it. You already look. have it. See? Yeah, yeah, then got scraped. It's gonna catch up to them. Nah, it's gonna catch up to all of them because they set that man up. They knew what was going on, man. Jay Prince, all them cats, they knew what was going on, man. Yeah, and that's and it's it's kind of sad because people sit back and be like, Duke, Duke ain't you know it was somebody that Duke knew came all the way out there to Houston to run up on them. Nope. No, nope. from what they nah. saying, they saying that it was somebody in the dice game, and from what the bodyguard saying, he was the main one there. So I'm gonna believe the bodyguard over a person on some hating stuff. You feel me? So, so all right, check this out. If this cat for one, right? Yeah. All right, cat. 
if why 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 soon as it happened he going live and then going to blast for it, man he building a case on himself you know what i mean like mm -hmm. for one for one if he ain't did now he ain't putting his mouth in there you he don't know nothing you know what i mean he know everything that happened he, he even told y'all everything that happened See? you know everything from if that man he even know up close what that man had on him he know everything exactly where he they set that man up he set yeah. that man up because that man thought he was going to shop with him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I yeah. bet you it was more broke, broke cats in that room than it was with cats with money. Yeah, and I think that too. I really think that like Slim, a hey Slim, like on some real stuff, I think it was more people in there that would shoot. You know how they had the dice game to where people look like they got money the whole time. That's the other person money and he, he might have busted down it he might have busted yeah, down yeah. He bust, that's what he did busted down gave everybody a piece told him look let's get let's go on it because they thinking they're gonna break the house they thinking yeah. they i mean they thinking they're gonna break other other cats you feel me that that's was the that was in. the thing yeah but duke had that hand on him and and he scraped the house and they weren't feeling that yeah, exactly. and, and, and then Boosie, Boosie ain't the cat that like to be around cats bigger than him. Why you think the industry don't deal with him? You know what I mean? He, he want to be boss. He boss man, right? And, and then these cats really walk around calling this dude boss man, yo. Like, like they joke crazy, man. Yeah, they, they, they tripping. They walk around calling this man boss man. And that, for one reason, they call the man boss man is because... He, he take care of them. Yep. See, think, <laughs> think about this. What other millionaire or, or, or cat in the gang got a bunch of goons living in their house taking care of them? He pinching them. He taking, he, he, he gonna do whatever so cause they gonna move for him. Exactly. He's selling, and that's the he's thing. selling them a dream and they low key his entourage and bodyguards. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's, that's why he don't have security fair. because he got the do boys around. You feel me? Oh, that mm -hmm. makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. and I'm, and I'm, these facts, everybody know this. It's so and don't big. get me wrong, these cats gonna move. They are gonna move for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's because that's where because all right, because look, all of them come from nothing. They come from the slums. You feel me? So they gonna do whatever it takes to be around there, the the ride in the Bentley, the uh, be seen around these yeah. different artists, to be in a, a mansion, the you know what I mean, to eat to, good to every follow, day. If Boosie let the people who got license follow him in the other cars, like they be riding like deep, like eight eight cars oh. deep, nine cars. I seen that personally. Yeah, I seen that personally. All of them his. You know what I mean? Yeah, all they of them Boosie they, cars. They, but they all of them Boosie cars. He give everybody straps before they leave and everything, bro. If you ain't got no, if you ain't strapped up, he gonna give you one. Okay. It's not up to anybody to look at somebody's success and think that you're entitled to what they have and you should be in their position. Hey, remember, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and always make sure you like the video. It's like, a lot of people will be like, they want the results and they don't want to do the work behind the results to get the results. They just want the end part, right? The person that did this with to do and wherever amongst his, his items and belongings end up, there's gonna be no good of it. We know it's gonna come back. It's a matter of time that's something that has to be lived with every single day that that happened. Don't people have a conscience anymore? Like, it really though is up to nobody to look at someone and say, that should be mine. That's some weird, that's some weird stuff. Like, that's weird. Okay. You don't look at someone walking around. <clears throat> oh, look at their necklace. Oh, look at that watch. Oh, I, I like that. That's diamond or this or that. You don't know what it is, first of all. Other than it's not yours. And you like it. And you want it. And you think that you're entitled to it. Because why? Right? Duke lost his, lost his future because 
somebody wanted to take what wasn't theirs. They took something that's supposed to naturally happen and took it into their own hands. Duke was down there to network and build some new relationships. Friends, customers, clients, artists, uh, like literally art artists and music artists. And he was caught up in a moment when he was vulnerable and he was alone. I'm gonna tell you this though. <clears throat> This is one of the reminders how people can change when they get around money. <clears throat> it's like money can make people do some crazy things. And it has made people do crazy things. People want want it. It's not necessarily some people don't want to work for it. Some people think that they're entitled to it. Quite honestly, I don't like it at all. I'm not even gonna word, use that word, but I don't like it. I think people change when it when it comes around. To be quite honest, I think that you should move the same whether you have a little or a lot, but you just need to be a little more cautious if you got a lot. You know, be mindful of the people that you let in your circle. Be mindful of the people that you do your transactional business with and your and your day-to-day -day business with. Because, like, real talk, you gotta remember, when something goes down, like, are those the people that are gonna be the ones that are, like, the, the ride, the ride or die for you? Like, seriously. You know? Like, you want somebody, like, you want friends and acquaintances that, you know, it's like a two-way street. It's you would do for them and they would do for you. But also, at the same time, looking out for each other because that's what people are, that's what people should be doing anyways. I remember one time I was away. I was in a weird situation. The lady's like, let me walk you back. I'm like... No, she's like, no, I think I should walk you back. You know, sometimes those little things that people do really is what makes a difference. And, you know, it just seems like that everyone was in on it. And when it comes down to it, we, we know, we talk about it all the time, that sometimes there's something where everyone's got a price, right? So, 